How's it going everyone? My name is Miguel Fuentes and welcome to the Kingdom Faith Outdoors channel. Well, today's Tuesday and I'm going to be releasing it on Wednesday. And so today we're going to get, today's going to be like a Bible study. We're going to continue on the series on the uh, second Baruch. And we're going to be taking a look at chapter 7 through 12 today. And so before we get started, let's go ahead and pray first. Amen. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just uh, thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you, Lord, for all that you've done, Lord. Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for the time together at the body of Christ. Father, you are holy, mighty, worthy to be praised. We thank you, Lord, for who you are. Lord, you are awesome. Lord, you are amazing. You are worthy to be praised, Father, Lord. We just thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to work. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to, to serve the customers, to serve people. And uh, we give you all the praise and glory. Amen and amen. All right. So today has been a busy, been, uh, before I get started, uh, you know, today's been a busy day. Uh, uh, Walmart inventory is going to be starting tomorrow. And, you know, I did, I did a lot of work today and yesterday in the past on a couple of days just to prep for inventory and, um, uh, Slowly, slowly pays off. So hopefully, I got some good report on it. And uh, yeah, all right. Let's get into the word. Chapter seven. And after these things, I heard the, I heard that the angel saying unto those angels who held the lamp, destroy the therefore and overthrow its wall, to its foundation, lest the enemy should and say we have overthrown the wall of Ju of Zion and we have burned the place of the mighty God and they have seized the place where I had been surrounding before now the angel sorry not the angels did did as he had uh, he had uh, commanded them and went. So, and when they had broken up the corners of the walls, a voice was heard from their interior of the temple after the wall had fell, saying, Enter, you enemies, and come, you adversaries, for he who kept the house has forsaken it. And I, Baruch, departed. And it came to pass after these things that the army of the Chaldees entered and seized the house and all that was around it. And they led the people away captive and slew some of them and bound uh, Zedekiah the king and sent him to the king of Babylon. And I, Baruch, came in Jeremiah, whose heart was found pure from sin, who had not been cap captive in the seas of the city. And we rent our garments, we wept, we mourned, and fasted seven days. Chapter 10 and it came to pass after seven days that the word of God came to me and says unto me, Tell Jeremiah to go and support the captivity of the people unto the unto Babylon, but do but do you remain here amidst the desolation of Zion, and I will show that show to you after these things. So after these days, what will befall at the end of uh, five days? And I said to Jeremiah, as the Lord commanded me, and he said, Indeed, depart with the people. But I, Baruch, returned and sat before the gates of the temple, and I lament with the following lamentation over Zion and said blessed is he who was not born or he who having been born has died 
But as for us who live, woe unto us, because we have seen the affliction of Zion. And what has befallen Jerusalem, I will call the sirens from the sea. And you, Lenin, come you from the desert, and you, Shaddam, and dragons from the forest. Awake and guard up your loins unto morning, and take up with me the dedication and make lamentation with me. Ye husbandmen, show not again an old earth, uh, wherefore give you your harvest fruits. Keep within you the sweets of your sustentation, and thou vine, why further do you give your wine? For an offering will not again be made from there in Zion, nor will uh, nor first fruits again be offered. And do ye, O heaven, withheld your drew, and open not the treasures of rain? And do thou, O sun, withheld the light of your rays? And do thou, O moon, O, sorry, o moon, extinguish the multitude of your light? For why should light rise again, where the light of Zion is darkened? And you, you bridegrooms, enter not in, and let not the bride adore themselves with garlands. And you women, pray not that you may bear, for the, for the barren shall above all rejoice. And those who, who have no sons shall be glad. And those who have sons shall have anguish. For why should they bear in pain only to bear in grief? Or why again shall mankind have sons? Or why should the seed of their kind again be named? Where this mother is desolate, and, the, and, and her sons are led unto captivity. From this time forward, speak not of beauty and discord, not of gratefulness. Moreover, you priests, take you the keys of the sanctuary and cast them into the height of heaven and give them to the Lord and said, Guard your house thyself. For lo, we are found false stewards. A new you virgins who weary fine linen and silk with gold of Arar, take with haste all these things and cast them into the fire, that it may bear them to, to him who made them. And the flames send them to uh, him who created them, least the enemy get possession of them. Moreover, I, Baruch, say this against you, Babylon, if you had uh, prospered and Zion had dwelled in her glory, yet the Yet the grief to us had been great that you should be equal to Zion. But now, lo, the grief is infinity, and the lamentation measureless. O oh, lo, you are prosperous in Zion, desolate. Who will be judged regarding these things? And these things, or to whom shall we complain regarding that which has? been following us, O oh Lord, how have you borne it? Our fathers went to rest without grief, and lo, the righteous 
sleep in the earth in tranquility, for they knew not this anguish, nor yet had they heard of that which had befallen us. For that you had ears, O earth, and that you had a heart, O dust, that you may go and announce in Sheol, and say to the dead, Blessed are you more than we, than we, sorry, than we who live. All right, chapter twelve, last one. But I will say this as I think, and I will speak against you, O land which are prospering. The, the noonday does not always burn, nor do the rays of the sun constantly give light. Do not expect land, hope that you will always have prosperous and rejoicing, and be not greatly uplift and boastful. For surely in its own season shall the, shall the divine wrath awake against you, which now in long suffering is held in, in as it were be vain. And when I had said these things, I fasted seven days. I, I guess sip here. I got my notes here. <clears throat> Alright, so we see, you know, Baruch is telling what happened during the siege of Jerusalem. And uh, it also confirms in Second Kings, I think in Second Chronicles as well, about how the Babylonian siege uh, Jerusalem. So the first thing I want to say that Baruch witnessed the siege of Jerusalem by, by the Babylonians, you know. We got his, historical evidence that it happens. We got the archaeological evidence that it really did happen, you know. And it, it, it's, it's very, very important where Israel State is, you know. You know that they're they're rebellious, sinful. They they want to worship idols, but God has a standard, and this and that standard is holiness, which no man can see God, and so it is very very important to understand that. Secondly, the enemy entered the city. King uh, Hezekiah, the kings. Uh, Zechariah, I think that's how I pronounce it. I can't remember how, how I pronounce it, but was captured and sent to Babylon to meet ne Nebuchadnezzar. And you know what happened, you know. Uh, killed two sons of King Zephaniah and gouged his eyes. They are, they are weeping and mourning and fasting for seven days it was that bad and man you know I can't imagine some people getting killed some a lot of people brought into captivity and it is not is not good for the Babylonians Thirdly, I want to say that you are happy and Zion has been destroyed. Now, I don't know what that means, but that that statement right there is scary, you know. 
You are happy and Zion has been destroyed, which is pretty pretty freaky to, to understand that. And it's a fortunate, you know, God had to do he had to do to bring Israel back to repentance. To bring Israel back to worshiping God again. And it, it, it's it's not an easy decision to make, but you know, it is it's for it's for the good. So, as I cover this, this is a sad day in Jerusalem, and many are taken captive to Babylon, to Babylon, and this is a confirmation from the Protestant Bible, uh, uh, Second Kings and Second Chronicles. You know, it really did happen. You know, it's just a confirmation of what to come. So next week. <clears throat> we're we're going to get into uh we are getting into let me see here we will get into uh chapter 13 uh, I would say chapter 13 through 19 or maybe yeah yeah you know, 13 through 19, it should be good enough. So, that being said, may God bless you, may God keep you. I'll see you guys again next time.